So welcome to week seven of the Started Order Six Online League on the flat then, and we are really at the midway point this week with the seventh week of thirteen. Today on day one, we've just got two courses. We're at Newmarket for the start of the July meeting, and we are also at Ascot. So things will get underway with the Falmouth Stakes, where the Phillies will be on show in the one mile event there, and that looks like a pretty pretty hot sort of race for three year olds and upwards. And there's mostly three year olds in there. Chroma Delight for Steve Run is the top rated. He's also got the second rated in faux par, but dark before dawn for John Morgan, Zilla Dave Velez for Darren Thompson, and Dan Under for Django will be pretty sure to give both of Steve Rant's horses a run for their money there. So that looks like a wide open race and a great start to the week. The second group race is race number two. That's the Prince of Wales Stakes, mile and a half this time. And again, three rolls and upwards and twisted logic for Steve Rant tops the ratings in that one by a good nine pounds. But the Star Lords for Joshua Sutherland doesn't win out of the first four in its last four runs. And Treaty of Melbourne for Paul Rhodes is unbeaten in one run. Rustica for Thunderspark also won last time out. So another race there then that looks as though it's wide open and should be a bit of a thriller. Two-year-old Phillies will take centre stage after that with the Duchess of Cambridge's stage, which is a six furlong group two event. And Paul Rhodes' master soprano, Royal Ascot winner last week, steps up a furlong and is top rated by a pound over Ghoul's Night Out for John Morgan. Powerful beauty for Molly at Silver, though, has already had two wins this season. Looks to be a pretty good sort. Welcome to the jungle for Joshua Sutherland is in there as well. And again, a wide open looking race. We'll then take in a few handicaps and then we'll be off to Ascot for the Fred Crowley MBE Summer Mile Stakes. This is a Group 2 event over a mile for older horses, these four-year-olds and upwards. Um, trip play one million for Moliette Surfer is the top rated in this, but a couple of pound superior to Suchet for Steve Ran. Dio Spur for Thundersparks only had the one run, came third, but that one could still be... Uh, Unexposed and could be anything. Boju New Dissension for Vinnie Gerard is also in there. The form of some of the ones towards the bottom doesn't look that hot, so you'd think that one will really be between the horses already mentioned. And to end day one, we're back at Newmarket for some more July meeting action and the big race of the meeting, the Dali July Cup, the six furlong sprint group one event, and this one looks like it's going to be an absolute thriller. Two steps for Steve Ran. I seem to be saying that name quite a lot today. He's got quite a few top rated horses in these races, while two steps is won three of the last four. He's joint top rated with Magnetide for Thunderspark, who's double handed with also Sun Sheba in there. John Morgan's got the unbeaten Sabre Tooth. Paul Rhodes has got Airwolf. Spooky Woods also in there again for John Morgan. Whitewater for Django. Uh, plenty of um, good speedsters in there. Lavadas for Darren Thompson. There's another one you couldn't totally rule out. Um, that one looks like it's going to be a thriller. Blink and you miss it. The two-year-olds will close day one with a Portland Place July Stakes for two-year-old Colts. See how they handle the soft going. Volos for Darren Thompson is a top rated. Even though it hasn't won in its last four, it's been placed every time. Shallars just had the one run coming third. And the winners in the field are the rank outside of Richie Blackmore and Hugh Mungus for Paul Rhodes, who won three races here. That, again, looks a wide open race for the final race of day one. So that's it then for day one. Before we get straight into the action with Doug, let's take a look at how everybody's getting on. Of course, the midway point here. So let's see the trainers at the top of the tree. Who's doing well? And who isn't? <laughs> John Morgan is top with 30 wins from just 73 starts, which is a ridiculously high strike rate, so he's obviously doing something right. Steve Rand is nine behind with 21 winners, so halfway through the season, John Morgan might well have the uh, flat title sewn up already. Django on 20 after a fast start is now drop back into the pack a little bit. Paul Rhodes is fourth on 18. Jim Murray appears to have given up the ghost in fifth. Well, he's seen any sides of him for the last two weeks, so he'll probably drop down the order like a stone. Joshua Sutherland on 14 wins in sixth. Vinny Gerrard, who was a late starter, on 10. And then Molly at Surfer and the similarly late start in Thunderspark on 9, along with Darren Thompson. Completes your top 10. You can't see it on the graphic on here. But I can tell you that 27 individual trainers have had winners this season and then add on to that another two that have picked up some prize winners which means 29 of the 34 trainers registered have actually had a winner or a place so the wins are starting to be spread out a little bit better so that's it then we're um, off to new market where dogs ready to call home the farmer stakes and i'll see you all next time